story at 1030. This picture landed a man behind bars. Police in England using a new technology to take fingerprints off of a picture posted on social media. Fox 35 anchor Amy Caulfield has more on the technology. A picture's worth a thousand words, right? The old adage has never been more true than now in the digital age. The technology is so much better. We also have larger databases of people's fingers and palm prints, and people are willing to put those out there on social media. Dr. Kevin Lothbridge is the director of the Global Forensics Justice Center. He says digital forensics is revolutionizing the way investigators gather evidence. Digital evidence itself, which social media is a subset, is extremely important in forensic science. If you had a person's face, finger, iris, and DNA, you basically have a four-dimensional barcode of that individual. Police in England recently made headlines when they took this picture of cheese and turned it into a drug bust. We had full, direct-on images of the person's fingerprints. The quality of that image was sufficient to get detailed information to be able to match the already digital fingerprints that they had in a database. The evidence was so overwhelming, the suspect, Carl Stewart, pled guilty and was sentenced to 13 years in prison. But digital forensics isn't new. In fact, Florida was one of the first states to use the technology to get a conviction. And when we saw the resolution that it was so clear, it, it was essentially a photograph. Amanda Gambert with the state attorney's office worked on that case back in 2015. He was a painter, so when he painted, it left paint in the ridges of his fingers, and so the, the camera picked up the ridge detail of the paint in the ridges, and that's where how we were able to see that. The image was a key piece of evidence to help convict Danny Horner of child pornography. Gambert says using the evidence in trial was a bit nerve-wracking. Yes, I was a little bit worried that maybe somebody might not buy this, this technology, but it didn't obviously end up being an issue. But her lead forensic investigator had no concerns. He was, you know, 100% behind this from the beginning. And he was like, look, the ridge detail is so, um, it's so detailed. It's so clear on this picture. She says now cameras have gotten so much better that this type of technology can be used even more often. Going forward and even today, these high resolution cameras are going to pick up a lot more than they used to without even the aid of paint or oil or something on somebody's fingers to highlight those ridge details. So watch out because your online profile could be incriminating. Technology is so much better. We also have larger databases of people's fingers and palm prints and people are willing to put those out there on social media. Amy Caulfelt, Fox 35 News. Just amazing.